brother of mine in one of the african countries was telling me about it was telling us about a prophet and this prophet told his own biological sister same father same mother that the only way he can cure her of demonic oppression is that she will have sex with him he called it a purification ritual his own biological sister would have a bit of shaker i have sister there i have santos and the torias when it comes for power i have rebadu i have separate i have ramande i have a bit of shaker i have gandu kagandusa i have refase fare i have paleboske and delebo i have tabus kabash i have in taboski pause Which power do you know that I used to return the man good of the man that disappeared? And you know the thing that hurts me is that when people like us come out to talk, instead of people to deal with the matters you are raising, they leave the items that, are, that have become a, a shame on the body of Christ and begin to attack the messenger. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> Welcome to Kingdom of the TV channel. Here you'll be watching under the five spiritual video that will advance your spiritual world with God. Please stay connected to us as you're going to be blessed. Don't forget to like our videos, subscribe to our channel, click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever we have a video like this. And also, please do well to drop your comment because it will be of help to us. I pray you'll be blessed in this video you just want to watch in the name of Jesus. Also, please watch to the end so you'll be blessed. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> Jesus. God also, Amen. in having an agenda, having a purpose, having a plan, has designed the execution and the establishment and the manifestation of his plan in such a way that if what is in his heart will be crystallized in the visible realm, then he needs to find men that will be willing to run his errands. So God has errands in the earth. He has matters he wants to establish. He has purposes he wants to see come to pass. But for him to see these things come to pass, for him to see his matters established in the earth realm, then there must be people within his government that are willing to abandon their own agenda and see that the will of God is established. One of the challenges with the body of Christ in the last maybe 20, 30, 40 years, especially in Nigeria and Africa, and probably the rest of the world, is the church turned it around. We began to focus on what it is we can get from God rather than what it is we can do for God. So everything around church space became, uh, began to evolve around meeting the basic needs of the christian so the christian wants to eat the christian needs a car the christian needs a breakthrough the christian needs a house and the church designed it in such a way whether deliberately or unintentionally uh, designed it in such a way that everything about christians and christianity began to revolve around consumerism we just want to consume the Christian is looking for a God that he can use to build a house. Looking for a God he can use to marry. Looking for a God she can use to build her business. So the Christian has not been raised to go to God at salvation. Immediately he has experienced salvation. He's not taught to go back to God and say, Now that I am saved, what do you want to do with my life? What happens in church is... We are taught that now that I am saved, it's now an opportunity for me to get something from God. I could not get it from God because I was a non-believer. But now that I'm, on, I'm, I'm a believer, it's an opportunity to deal with my hunger, deal with my poverty, deal with my lack of shoes, deal with my this and that. So even though there are a lot of saved people around the Christian space, God still cries from the heavens, whom shall i send 
so we filled our churches with a lot of christians but they are not sendable men they are not men that have been trained in the ways of god that they are willing to go for god because when you read isaiah chapter 6 and you see what isaiah penned down in his prophecy regarding what it is that he heard from the lips of god the first matter was whom shall i send the second matter is who will go for us because it is possible that you have come to a place where you are sendable but you are sendable yet you are unwilling to go are you here because there are two categories of christians that are growing within the body of christ now they are the category that are not sendable at all they think that christianity is about getting something from god to satisfy lusts and cravings that are building within their heart they can't be sent because if primary if you've been here for the three teachings that we have done the primary qualification for you to be sendable is you to come to a place where you totally surrender your will if you have not totally surrendered your will you cannot be sent so god might have an errand urgent errand that he needs somebody in the earth to run but when he looks within our enclave looks within our denominations he can't find men who he can send so majority of the christians are unsendable because the minute you send a man whose will is not crucified he will use god's opportunity to advance his own agenda he will use the gifts and the graces of god to satisfy his lusts that's why right now in the christian space you have things like celebrity preachers you have things like celebrity musicians gospel musicians in fact they don't want to be called gospel ministers anymore they prefer to be called gospel artists they are artists they treat they want to be treated like celebrities because they have received a gift a grace an opportunity from god and because their will has not been crucified that opportunity has become a platform to satisfy their raging carnal lusts so a lot of immature people because one of the signs that you are still a babe that you have refused to mature is that your will is un unsurrendered a babe wants what he wants he can cry have you seen babies crying they can cry for something that you who is an adult knows that this thing can kill the child but his appetite is raging he's a child he must satisfy his lust at all costs so we have the immature in the pews we have the immature in the pulpits how do you explain to me a brother of mine in one of the african countries was telling me about it was telling us about a prophet and this prophet told his own biological sister same father same mother that the only way he can cure her of demonic oppression is that she will have sex with him he called it a purification ritual his own biological sister that he has he has, has he has grown so much in the prophetic his private part has become the instrument for deliverance and as if as if the madness is not enough he is even bold enough to tell his own biological system and you know the thing that hurts me is that when people like us come out to talk instead of people to deal with the matters you are raising they leave the items that, are, that have become a, a shame on the body of Christ and begin to attack the messenger. Now, even the people that have Abido Sheka and uh, Ganduza Ganduze, they too have started early morning prayers. Farel Karel, they, they too have started early morning prayers. And crowds are gathering consumers people are sharing the videos of a clown who thinks that Christianity is comedy 
telling people that Jacob was a Yahoo boy. Now, because he did it, and instead of, of somebody to stand up and say, this is an abomination, Christianity has been reduced to comedy. People are sharing it and laughing. People are coming under to say, this is correct preaching. He has released a new video. And in this video, he says that Satan is God's favorite son. That so if ba Babalawos should not be ashamed, that if Satan is God's favorite son, that they too are the sons of God. That is what Christianity has become. You see, when people like us talk, it's not that we are looking for something. We are bleeding on the inside. This is not the faith our fathers died for. And you see, I'm, I'm showing you the root cause. The root cause is that we have raised a church that the people who sit in our denominations week in, week out cannot be sent. Their will is not yet crucified. They are men on a mission to use God as an excuse to satisfy their lust. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> yeah, welcome back from that video. I know you are blessed. And I know you learn one or two things in that video. I pray that the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Once again, this is Kingdom of the TV channel. Do well to like our video, subscribe to our channel. Click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever we have a video like this. And also, don't forget to comment. We need your comments. Please do well to comment on the video so we can get your feedback. Thank you and God bless you. Amen. <laughs>